After six months of our ATC toy hauler parked at this storage facility, we're finally ready. Our monthly renewal for storage is October 28th, so we figured that would be a great day to leave. We had also been monitoring the forecast, and we knew we were in the last days of warmer weather. The idea was that the warmer temperatures would make things more bearable so we could take our time heading south in our new home on wheels. David mentioned that it would be nice to make Massachusetts our first stop, which is only the next state over from us in New Hampshire. I took that as a sign. My online friend Nicole lives there and I thought it would be so fun to meet her and see her new ATC toy hauler. And like David and I with our two cats, she and her husband and their cat and dog have plans to move in full time. So I thought it would be fun to sit down with her and compare stories and share them with you. However, sometimes life is like owning a dry clean only shower curtain. In this case, both literally and figuratively. Our plans suddenly came to a screeching halt. Let me explain. So as our time to hit the road is approaching, we're realizing we are not coming back to New Hampshire in February when our vehicle registration is due. Now the registration is not the issue here because we could do that through the mail. The issue is the inspection that is required after the registration is complete. And it must be done within that month or during the 10 day grace period. And that must be done in the state of New Hampshire. I made a ton of phone calls to clarify everything and we've got three concrete options. And I'm going to share those with you and let you know which one we chose. The first option is to apply for a 30 day extension. And that brings us to the end of March and pretty much in the same predicament because February and March in New Hampshire are both notorious for being extra snowy. So that's out of the question. Most places that are RV friendly are seasonal and would never be open during that time. So we're gonna move on to option number two, which is switch the registration to my birthday instead of David's. The reason we can do that is because both of our names are on the vehicle registration. My birth month is during a warmer time of year where there is zero chance of snow. The problem with this option is that we were told the money that we've already Already paid for registration would not count towards the new registration so basically we would be forfeiting hundreds of dollars to start the registration process all over again now I know what you're thinking why didn't you do that in the first place when you first bought your vehicle right that's what we should have done so if you're from New Hampshire and you're thinking about leaving town for several months and you're in a similar situation learned from our mistakes. The third and final option is the option that we are going to choose and that is early registration. So basically the state of New Hampshire allows you to prepay for your registration and receive it early up to four months in advance. Initially we thought we were within that four month window but then after all of those phone calls I made to clarify everything at the last minute I learned that they calculate in calendar months and not in real time. So the earliest that we can do the early registration is November 1st and we are scheduled to leave on October 28th, hence the issue. So that delays our trip by four days, which may not seem like a big deal, but those four days are supposed to be pretty mild and allow us to take our time leaving New Hampshire and heading south and also visiting my friend Nicole and seeing her ATC toy hauler. So instead of meeting up with Nicole, we're gonna plan to beeline it out of New Hampshire on November 1st. Now here's where things get weird. I received a message from Nicole on the day we were supposed to arrive and she said it was a good thing we canceled because there were trees down everywhere, roads were closed, and they had been without power for over 24 hours. So as frustrated as we were at first with the change in plans, there was also a big sense of relief that we didn't try to tow a trailer in that mess, and it also bought us more time to get things done. So basically the moral of the story is sometimes things in life happen that can seem negative, but if you really stop and take a closer look, you may find that those circumstances are really blessings in disguise. This is definitely one of those times. I also want to give a huge shout out to Right Space Storage and Hooksit, New Hampshire for being flexible with us about our last minute change of plans and overall being amazing. Nicole has a travel blog that I've linked in the description below for you. Hopefully she and I will be able to meet up sometime in 2022. Now our plan for November 1st is to get up really early that Monday morning and head to the city hall to get the registration done. Hopefully not wait in line for several hours like we have in the past and then zoom over to the garage and get the vehicle inspected and then pack up the kitties, hook up the trailer and start heading south to begin our journey of full-time RV living. I'll let you know how that goes and if we can pull that off in my next video.